Ashes. Ashes. <laughs> Welcome back to reviews of traveling places in Malaysia. We are now in uh, Cameron Highlands, Pahang. Cameron Highlands is situated at the northwestern tip of Pahang. How to go there? Uh, it's about 90 kilometers from Ipoh or about 200 kilometers from Kuala Lumpur. For foreign tourists, uh, it is advised that you ask your travel agency because some travel agency they have uh, Cameron Highlands in one of their packages. It was school holidays and it was fully packed but we managed to book a place called Hills View Inn. The place is not bad. Let me show you the room. Our room is a family room. Consists of one single bed and one queen size bed. The inn is clean and the room is clean. Unfortunately, our view, the balcony view, we don't see many trees as I saw before in 1994. There are no hills with trees anymore. It's just development. But overall, his view in is a great place to stay with your family because it's very clean and it's very organized. Boti Plantation is a must-visit place when you are in Cameron Highlands. It's very tranquil and with cool fresh air. The road journey to the Boti Plantation is quite adventure itself. Boti Plantation has a total of 8,000 acres planted uh, land with tea and it is the largest tea plantation in Southeast Asia. It is located along Ringlet, Sungai Palas and Habu. We are now at um, Tibo uh, Extent Plantation. So we're climbing from there. Let me show you, just show you. I was climbing from there, and then we're going up now. All of them going up. Ah. Climbing the stairs. Then afterward, we enjoy ourselves with some strawberry cheesecake. So much of climbing the stairs and losing some fat. The night market in Cameron Highlands is just like any other ordinary night markets in Malaysia. The only difference is that the air is a little bit of and there are lots of strawberries I tell you there's a lot a lot of strawberries being sold here well the night market is actually situated at Prichang so like ourselves we were in Tanarata so when we want to go to the night market we have to go down to Prichang town which is not that far from Tanarata town I believe the main attraction for foreign tourists from all other countries to come to Cameron Highlands is for them to visit the village of the Aboriginal people of Pahang. So if you are a foreign tourist, uh, if you have to come to Pahang to see the village of the Aboriginal and to climb the mountains, you need to ask your travel agency because they do provide some packages to tour around the village. However, if you come with small children like mine, you would want to come and visit this agro farm where they uh, plant some vegetables and strawberries where you kids can uh, pick the strawberry by themselves. <laughs> Look, the strawberry. Mm. 
Butterfly Farm is another place that you can bring your children. <laughs> Five ringgit Malaysia for adults and three ringgit Malaysia for children. And of course, don't forget to visit the Lavender Farm which is situated after the Kia Farm, Rose Valley and Flower Valley in Cameron Highland. You won't miss it. Vegetables farm and strawberry farms can be found almost everywhere in Cameron Highlands. They are located throughout the highlands and most of the farms allow visitors in. Drive up to Trinkup or Kuala Terla to get a roadside view of the larger vegetable farms. Due to the increasing tourist arrivals, there have been more smaller farms cropping all over the highlands. These farms produce everything from flowers and vegetables to strawberries. These are primarily for walk-in tourists. The other bigger farms which produce vegetables for the nation's consumptions are usually not on the tourist map and are located in the interiors of uh, Kuala Trola and Vertam Valley. Well, that's all for today's review. We'll see you next time in another video. Bye.